Hey, I'm Nick Boy, and welcome to Pocket. And today I'm looking at Far Cry Primal by Ubisoft Montreal. Far Cry Primal is coming out on PS4 and Xbox One on the 23rd of February, so Tuesday, and it comes out on the 1st of March for PC. I've been quite looking forward to this game as I do enjoy the Far Cry series, and particularly I like the idea of this Stone Age setting, and always a bow and arrow. Every game, bow and arrow. Gone Home would have been much better with a bow and arrow. Let's jump in and take a look and get a little Far Cry. Sorry, I mean a little Primal. I said the wrong part of the game name. Primal. Do you reckon this caveman's a douchebag like all the other Far Cry games as well? Like he's like a frat boy caveman? With antlers? Weeja. Masi Hassar. Masi Janas. Good for the Wenger. Udan. Krauhadan Yaudan. Isila. Haskapuris. Winjan. Here Aquasbara. These scars. I don't know if you can hear it, but the PS4 is going nuts with its fan right now. We have never rendered this much rock before. Oh yeah. Oh, this is nice. This is great. Starting with a hunt, this is the best way to start this game. And it looks quite nice. Whoa! That could have gone bad. We find small mammoth, separate from herd, then we eat. I don't want to kill a baby. Don't make the first thing I do in this game be kill a baby. Yes, the tiny mammoth. Oh, my last spear. Okay, so I've got two spears. I have to spear its head. I'm so sorry. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh. This is seriously disturbing. A quick death! Please! <laughs> give me a spear. Someone give me a spear. play this anymore. <laughs> That's awful! That's awful! Don't run. Back. Oh god. Look, I'm happy to kill this thing because it's not cute looking! I suppose it's important for kids to learn that the woolly mammoth you get in the supermarket doesn't just appear there magically. That you do need to go out there and stab it 60 times in the face. And I'm sure they would have used every part of the mammoth as well. Made a nice piano. You're not looking too good. Stop getting them bloody. I suppose it is important for kids to learn that the dead caveman you get in the supermarket doesn't just appear there. That you do actually need to use every part of the caveman. Alright. Nice environment. Take slate. Alright, now we're talking. Got some flint. I need some stick. Probably. Okay, so I need to make a bow. I've got wood. Craft a bow. Brilliant. 
Now I need arrows. Far Cry do love their animations. If every time I make a bow I need to go through that, I'm going to be very disappointed. Oh! Arrows just appeared! Me one dot of fuck we are. Salkamagam. That's a rock. I thought it was something feeding. Okay, so Hunter Vision seems to be on it. No! That's the one I killed. Nick, you're a genius. Now just kill this pterodactyl. We could eat for days. Days, Nick. Cancel out. Heal using meat. Health full. Oof. Alright, he's gone. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm a hunting queen. Night comes, must find shelter. Well, there was a cave around here somewhere. The bow and arrow feels nice. It feels like pretty much all bow and arrows. I wonder, I guess you've got throwing spears at the beginning as well. There can't be that many ranged weapons. Rocks? Maybe an axe? Light a campfire. First. I don't want to tell you how to light a fire because obviously you invented it. But you're doing it wrong. Isu. Winja Hadashta. Ah. Okay, still looking for my lost brothers. You're right, night time is probably the best time to do this. Make a club. Yes. Clubs are powerful and fast attacking weapons with high durability. Throw them to stun your enemy, then rush in with a follow-up attack. You can throw a club. I am on board with that. I think the thing that I'm on board with, with the idea of clubs and bow and arrows and that sort of thing, is that you can't just wantingly destroy everything. The Far Cry has, for me, always had that problem where you are always an outsider coming into this place. It's usually there's a native population that you're there to save as the white man, which is always a little uncomfortable. But also, you, you come in with guns to forest environments, and it always feels kind of unfair that you're hunting animals with submachine guns or something. Here, bow and arrow, club, you can't just spray and pray. Like, you need to be a little more delicate with that, and, and that appeals to me. You can ignite any weapon by holding, by any weapon, by holding square when standing next to a flame. Any weapon. Purshasda, guastru dagwa. Yes, burn it all with no regard for the fact that you are in a very enclosed little space and the only exit is where you started the fire. Maybe we'll just burn this too. Maybe it's... Oh, is this the game? This could be the game for me. <laughs> this could be the game! I'm on fire! Yeah, it feels good. Yeah. Alright, bloody footprints. so no one can follow me. Burn, my pretty. Burn, I really hope I don't need to go back up there. <laughs> We're really learning something about me today, and it's not something I'm proud of. Seriously, everything's on fire. <laughs> I've been a bad man. All right, did someone set a wolf on fire? Why does it look like it's on fire? You know what it's saying. It's the spirits. It's saying, burn it, Nick. Burn it. Shh. Ah. Ah. Just always accidentally catching on fire. Oh, I like how the club is burning down. Look at that. The flame's going down the, uh, down the handle. 
Wolves, I scare beasts with flames. Yeah, well, I hope so. Well, I, did they just see what I did to their brother? Oh, shit. Back! Back! I'm coming for you! I'm coming for- Oh, shit, there's more of you! Back! Back! Yeah! Oh! Oh, you're the ballsy one, aren't you? Alright, a little worried about I'm about to- Well, I'm a little worried about the fact that I'm on fire. And also that that is, uh, that stick- Okay, don't put the stick onto the ground. And it's nearly burned away, which means I'm just here with the wolves trapped. Where do you want me to go? You want me to follow through. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna bust through. I'm busting through. Make sure the wolves don't climb up. That is really close to my hand. Thank God I'm not going into like a dark cave or anything. I like that he went like, ooh, ooh, a little hot there at the end. A little taste of what he's given everybody else. What was that guy? Was that Antler Man? A mouse! Come back! Why is it rolling so much? Can I eat that? Yes, I can. Good work. I think I stepped on it. That's how I killed it. There's another one. <laughs> okay, Nick, don't get distracted by the mice because we'll be here all day. <laughs> oh, I should laugh, but the little squeaky death noise, then the slow death tumble. Adorbs. Adorbs. That is not a good noise. That is a, there's something in the water with you noise. Oh, you. Well, can it swim? Is that a person? It is. Oh no. Did he dig up my friend? I worked so hard to bury you. Wait, look out. Wait, wait, what? Oh God. Do I have a club? Same one. It's got the same sort of scratches on its face. Is this the bad guy? I'll tell you what, if it's voiced by Troy Baker, we'll know it's the bad guy. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, <gasps> Palu, Sashwalim Shalam, Dakar Hassam. Saila, Mi, Kawa, Ahatra. Sure. Look at that. 20 minutes in, and I've already got a date. <sighs> Sakwim Walta Lauba Akista Alright, we're gonna leave it there. I reckon she can hold on for a bit longer. Okay, so that was Far Cry Primal. So far, I'm really enjoying it. I think it's a strong opening to this game. We've sort of established who we are. We're someone who's looking for the, you know, part of our tribe that has been lost, except it turns out that these people have been killed. We're going to go murder the people who murdered our people, uh, which is kind of 
a classic Far Cry motif, I guess. I think the environment is really cool. I, I love, I love, love, love the idea that we're set in this period, and I'm, I'm really keen to see what the other places in the world look like. So far, it looks like the design is nice, but it is just sort of like rocks and trees. I'm sure that's a lot of what it was like back then, but I would love to be wandering around this environment and find sort of uh, places of culture from di different tribes, finding little areas where people lived and made a home, because we're not going to come across cities here. We're not going to come across sort of big skyscrapers or anything, or, or, or I assume even big amounts of people clustered together. I think that it's more going to be little sets of tribes, little nomads and that sort of thing. So if across the world these peppered signs of life like that, I think that will be really interesting. The game looks good graphically. I don't think it looks necessarily better than Far Cry 4. I, I would have liked it to look even more realistic. I, I would love to lose myself in this environment, but I think I think it looks totally fine on PC. I assume you can really get it pumping, but uh, but so far, you know, it's serviceable. The character models are actually, uh, I, th I feel like they have a bit more animation in their faces than the last one, but that's just me. The one concern I have, and it's not actually a concern that has uh, been triggered by anything in the game so far, it's just, uh, I wonder how long uh, Ubisoft can hold on to this idea of the setting of uh, we're dealing with tribes we're dealing with nomadic people and historically far cry hasn't had the greatest reputation of treating those things with the sensitivity that maybe they deserve and so here we're, we're using a made-up language and we're a bunch of sort of like tribal people uh, how far we're going to push that to you know places a stereotype they i don't think they have so far it's just something that uh, the series is kind of known for and also how long the environment can actually sustain your interest because a big part of fire cry for me is the idea that yeah you can wander around with a bow and arrow and hunt animals but also you can hop in a gyrocopter and see the place from above and be able to get places quickly uh, in interesting ways. There's lots of driving around in the games as well. Uh, using all those vehicles is, is part of the joy and using technology to sort of get around the environment. Here, none of that is going to exist, so they're probably going to replace it with things like riding animals. Uh, but how long I will feel as though there's only a certain amount in which I can engage with this world being someone who is primarily on foot. But I guess me thinking ahead is a good thing because it means I am actually picturing myself playing this game and sort of really getting into it. And I am, I feel like this intro has been a really good, uh, a good sign of what is to come for the game. And I'm excited to get in there and dig my hands into the earth and become the caveman that maybe I was born to be. All right, that's it for today's episode of Pocket. My Pocketeers, Nick Boy out. Is she still alive? Because I was talking for a while there. Yeah, she's fine.